A Christmas Carol brought to you by IBM will continue. Every company must be measured by its concern for people, not just as customers, but as individuals. And at IBM, our concern takes many forms. You know, learning to read is tough. I learned back when I was six, well, maybe seven. But these kids were already reading in kindergarten. It's because of this really neat learning program called Writing to Read. It's from IBM. Now, it takes words a kid can say, and they can say a lot, and teaches them how to write and read them. Say, turtle. Turtle. Type, turtle. The computer helps them. It's fun. Can a fish ride in a wagon? No. More than 20,000 kids were part of the pilot program. And some can even write their own stories. My dad cooks macaroni. I like it, too. I kissed my cat before I went to school. Gee, I wish they had this when I was a kid. As a group, children in writing to read did significantly better on national reading tests. The two-year pilot program of writing to read was supported and funded by IBM. You're about to enter the world of a new technology called X-ray microscopy. Developed by IBM research scientists to advance computer technology, it brought them close inside this computer chip, discovering details no one had ever seen before. The scientists then wondered what they would see if they examined blood cells the same way. What they saw fascinated medical researchers. They discovered structures within the living human cell never seen before. A number of medical researchers have already used this new technology to examine sickle cells and cancer cells. X-ray microscopy, an example of how IBM research can contribute not only to business, but to life itself. This is Eddie. He lives in a neighborhood where job opportunities don't come knocking at his door very often. But now local community organizations, with the help of IBM and others, have set up over 200 free job training centers. Some for careers in computer operations, others in business, and to thousands of people like Eddie. It's the one thing they thought they would never have. A chance to make it. And now, the conclusion of A Christmas Carol, starring George C. Scott and David Warner.